she looks into my eyes. I look into hers, and. No. What's up YouTube, it's your boy Clone, your little brother's favorite YouTuber, and I'm back with another video. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm gonna keep saying it, I'm Big Fish, just graduated high school. <laughs> yeah! So you read the title, it's another story time. If you like my story times, please go back and watch my other my other story time about the time I got stood up. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, everything at all that coin just dropped a new post on instagram so head over there and flood the comments with deuces emojis just to let me know you're a part of the youtube family and without further ado let's get into the video so quick disclaimer um i'm the type of person that like you we can hang out and it still not be a date per se so this is my first time actually going on a date so this happened the summer of my sophomore year in high school pretty much my mom has signed me up for this video editing program or this video production program whatever you want to call it and like the object of it was like they pay you to put a film together about like culture or something something just broad like that and so i went in the first day So I went, and the first day I met this girl, so she, like, was gorgeous. Like, when I tell you, voluptuous? Um, and she she walks in, and I'm like, oh, okay, I gotta talk to her. So, of course, I'm nervous. I go up to her, I'm like, hi, introduce myself. My name's Coin, Big Coin, for short, you know. So I go up to her, I'm like, oh, my friends call me Coin, um, introduce myself, and, you know, we put, we hit it off, and, of course, I'm like, okay, so, um, you want to go and do an activity at a time? Because at that time, I still had no sauce, so that's how I asked girls out, and she's like, surprisingly, she says yes. And I'm like, all right, cool. So we're, we'll go and we'll do something after the program. I'm like, all right, cool. Cool, yo, cool beats. Um, and I'm like, all right, cool. Um, so the next day I, I go, put on a night, I put on some, some a, a nice fit, of course. Um, I think at the time I had some, uh, I might've had some Air Force Ones. Probably had some Air Force Ones on, some nice jeans, a polo tee. Just, just a thorough fit. Let's be honest here. Uh, it was, it was definitely a, so it was an all-around nice fit. Um, so, of course, I grab my life savings, um, thirty-one dollars and twenty-five cents, um, and I go. We go. I go to the program. I'm staring at her the whole time. I'm so nervous, and it's time. So, I ended up taking her to the movies. We end up going to. See, I don't even remember what we went to go see. To be completely honest with you. So, um, and if you're noticing a theme that I, I like to go to the movies a lot, I do. So, um, any ladies out there that want to go take me out, I do like movies. I, I like watching stuff. So, I take her to the movies. We go, we watch the movie. We're talking through the entire movie, which was, in my opinion, dope. I feel like if you could distract me from me watching a movie, then you actually have a personality, which is cool. So, we watch the movie. Um, of course, I spent like half my life savings on popcorn. Backtrack. Um, I have this thing where like I wear a backpack everywhere. I don't know if it's like because it's like a turtle shell to shield me from life or what it is, but like I don't go anywhere without a backpack. And this was one of those occasions. So I went and I took my backpack. Of course, I showed up like 15 minutes early because like I show up everywhere early uh, when it's like important. So I show up like 15 minutes early and the movie theater is like, oh, we're not allowing you in here with your book bag. And I'm like, well, why not? Like, what do you think I'm gonna steal? Popcorn and urinal soaps? And they're like, oh no, it can't be past this certain size. And I'm like, okay, well, is there any way you can hold my backpack? And they're like, no, we're not holding your backpack. It could be a bomb. And I'm like, who's trying to blow up a $5 movie theater? Like, I don't understand. So. I ended up, and I do not suggest this to anyone, so I ended up going around the corner, 
and around the corner there was this Cordoba. So I went to the Cordoba and they had this like public bathroom, right? So I went to the Cordoba and went in the uh, the handicap stall and I shoved my book bag in like the ceiling. They had one of those ceilings where you could like lift up and put stuff in there. So I ended up putting my book bag in the bathroom's ceiling to hold it because I didn't want it to get stolen. So um, yeah, that was interesting. We ended up watching the movie, it was cool or whatever. And then I'm like, afterwards, I'm like, oh, I have to go get my book bag because I, I still wanted to, like we were still hanging out. So I was gonna take her to go get some food. And I'm like, okay, I have to go get my book bag. And um, she walks me to Cadoba. I get my book bag. I'm like, do you want any Cadoba? Or like, she's like, oh no. So and she's like, I don't know what I want, but I don't want Cadoba. And I, this was like my first encounter with indecisive girls. And um, yeah, very difficult experience. So we ended up going to get some pizza. And like growing up, my mom would always say to like, when you go out with a girl, don't get anything that's too messy or you'll like look weird. And I'm like, of course, these are one of those times, but like pizza is like a kind of a messy food. I don't really know. So I ordered like one or two slices of pizza and we eat, we talk, we chit chat. And of course I like, I like a girl that can like make me forget about the time. And this was one of those instances where like, I didn't even pay attention to the, what time it was and how much time I spent with her. I think I might've been with her for like five hours. Like that's a long time to be with someone. So we eat, lick our fingers, wipe our face. And um, at the time, like I didn't have any way of transportation because uh, again, if you like, if you watch my previous story time, if I'm going somewhere, I don't really take my skateboard. And uh, of course I don't have a car. So I ended up taking public transportation and I, so I ended up walking her all the way home, which was like 20 blocks. Um, most walking I did in my life. Like, who does that? But anyway, I walk her home. We're talking the whole way, the whole time, you know, just talking about life, the existential questions, gummy worms or fruit snacks. Um, and I ended up, uh, we ended up making it to her door and she looks into my eyes. I look into hers and... I shake her hand and go home. So, um, moral of the story is, um, if you're watching this, uh, girl who shall not be named, um, I really enjoyed myself. Thank you. We should do it again sometime. Actually, never mind. Um, that's it for this video. If you like the video, don't forget to press the like button and the subscribe button because we don't promote violence around here, so we're not smashing any buttons. And um, that's it. Peace, love, positivity, make good choices, don't do bad stuff, cross at crosswalks, and I'm out.